Hello, uh, I'm Hayley Bates from Little Scientists and um, today I'm joined by Alf and Hannah. Hi. Hi. Hello. And we're also going to challenge somebody else later on, but at the moment we're just going to introduce to you what we're doing. Okay, so we, it's, we've just had um, Easter and you guys got lots of eggs, didn't you? I gave them a chocolate bunny and a small chocolate bunny that we ate. Yeah, so what we did was we saved the foil um, from the eggs and we made little boats um, and we've been sailing them on the pond. Uh, now, if you're going to do that, just be careful that you get the tin foil boats back again, okay? We don't want to litter anything. Um, and um, we've also, this is actually a tin foil boat made out of the foil top of the spreadable butter. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I will do. Okay, so um, we've been floating these, and some of them, as you can probably see, float better than others. Um, and we were looking at our boat design and trying to work out which ones float the best. And then we decided that we were going to challenge somebody. So we'd also like to challenge you. What this challenge involves is. You have a piece of tin foil about 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. Just be mindful of your use of tin foil, okay? We don't want to waste resources, so um, just remember that uh, tin foil or aluminum foil is, um, is a finite resource, okay? So here we go, and I'm going to give that to you guys. And what you can do is build a boat that will carry as many marbles as possible. And we've got lots of marbles here. And joining us, we have Lena, who is my work colleague from Little Scientists. Lena, would you like to introduce your children? Yeah, sure. Here we have Fraser. Say hello, Fraser. <laughs> and Eleanor, do you want to say hi? <laughs> hello Fraser, hello Eleanor, are you ready to start the challenge? Yes. Okay, so we'll meet back here with, in a, with our boats in about five minutes. Okay, welcome back. Um, we are going to show you our boats, talk you through them, and then we're going to test them using marbles. Now we're using marbles because marbles more or less weigh the same amount. So if we all use the same size marble, they more or less weigh about the same, okay? So therefore, we can actually test um, the strength of our boats and the capacity of our boats. Guys, can you show me your boats? Show Haley your boats. What have you got, Fraser? Eleanor's got a, you wanna tell Haley about your boat? My boat's pretty tiny. I mostly folded it at first, but then I scrunched up the sides, so it's pretty small. Pretty small, and Fraser, you've got a much bigger boat, don't you? Big and flat. Wonderful. Okay, so well, we're going to show you our boats. What we've got going on here is Alpha's taken the, uh, a leaf out of Eleanor's book, and he's folded his tinfoil over quite a lot, but he's gone for a longer boat. And Hannah, can we see yours? I made a canoe and I made a Viking ship. Ah, uh, yeah, and it's, it's quite flat. And I wonder which boat's going to be the winner. Well, let's try them out then. So um, you can do this as well. And what we'd love to do is if you're on Facebook and you're following us on Facebook, if you can post a picture of your boat um, and also the number of marbles that it held, and then maybe we can look at all the results and decide what boat design holds the most marbles. Which boat is going to, are you going to test first? Yeah. We'll test Eleanor's first, the little one. Okay, so okay. Uh, I would try five marbles at a time to begin with. One, two, three, four, five. How many more can you fit in? Looking good so far. <laughs> Can you see it? Oh, you can almost see it. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it's starting. Oh, it's gone under. It's gone oh. under at ten. So when's under at ten? 
Okay, well, we're yep. going to try yeah. Alfred's boat now. Okay. My last boat went up to 55. Now, I'm not sure. Right. Can you see that? Oh, yes. Yep. Okay. Let's have a go. So, we've got... Now, we... Alfred's other boat... Alfred's other boat held an awful lot. So, here we go. One, two... Three, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh no, water's going in and oh, oh 18. eighteen. Okay, eighteen. Fraser, let's have a look at yours. Put yours on. I'll help you get them. Fraser, can I just give you a quick hint? Okay, start putting those in. Fraser, don't use the wet marbles. Use the dry ones if you have some. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. So how far are you up to? Twenty. Twenty-one. We might check back in on a you in a second. Yeah. Okay. We're interested to know what sort of boat design holds the most marbles. Right. Now that might actually be not not what you're looking for. You might be looking to build for speed, or you might be looking to build for stability, or you might be looking to build for um, the lightest boat or the heaviest boat. Okay, so your boat design, your hull design will reflect what you're doing. Now we're going to just check back in with Fraser. How are you doing, Fraser? How many marbles are you up to? More? 44. How careful are you being with your placement? One, because if you place one. them all at one end, it might sink. So be careful. Okay, well, we're going to test Hannah's at the same time. So we're going to start off with 10 marbles. It went down at 92. 92? Oh. We're up to 50 over here. 90. Oh. Uh, what number do we have to beat? 92, I think. 92. Oh, no! Yeah. Yeah. still the winner. Okay, guys. So, so we're going to wrap this up a little bit, okay? Um, what we've proven is that the design, the design of the boat really makes a difference as to how many um, marbles it actually holds. Okay. Um, Nina, have you got anything to add? Well, I think Eleanor um, had a had a point. Eleanor, come over here. It needs to be have more space to be able to hold more marbles. Okay. So, so you think it's it's going to be the space? Okay, the space of the the boat. All right. Well. We'll check in with you again and you can post the, the picture of your winning boat on the Facebook page. We're going to post instructions as well on a PDF. Um, you'll find on our website some really clear instructions on how to take part in the challenge. And we'd love to see pictures of your boat um, on Facebook in our comments.